This is a quick start video to get you up and running with your steam oven uh, using its most basic uh, functionality if you want to steam some vegetables or something like that. Um, so the first step that you're going to do um, is put some water in your reservoir. It doesn't necessarily have to go to the max. And typically you're going to be you know using the steam oven for about 20 minutes when you're steaming uh, vegetables and that'll use maybe 200 milliliters of water um, so push this all the way in you'll kind of feel it lock in there when that nipple at the top engages push that back, pop it in and we're going to put the pan assembly in I'm just going to take that apart and show, show you what's what And when I'm steaming, I put it in on the bottom here. You have different uh, shelf positions that you can use depending if you're doing more conventional cooking where you're using the broiler uh, or the uh, convection element and fan. So that's our main shelf. And then we have our kind of steam pan or steam basket holder that we put in on top like that. We have a, a water collection pan, so this saves, uh, you know, condensing steam from landing in the bottom here. Not that that's bad, but it's just more convenient to have it kind of drop in this pan. So this kind of goes in the bottom of that main shelf. And then put the main pan in here. And so if I was actually steaming something, of course, I'd put in my green beans or my broccoli or whatever it is that I'm steaming. Obviously, the more dense the um, the vegetables are, the longer you're going to be steaming them. So if I've found generally in the 15 to 20 minute range for, you know, regular vegetables like broccoli or, or green beans or cauliflower or something like that. Uh, and you lay them out in a layer in the pan. There's also a lid that comes with this pan. I don't really use it because it kind of interferes with putting the stuff in here and I don't have any issues when I'm not using it. So we're all set up and what we're going to do is turn on the oven and the first thing we're faced with is the cooking modes and it's going to default to basically, you know, the most common mode that you're going to use, which is basically steam cooking. Uh, everything else is, um, you know, these are your uh, conventional cooking modes. So that's convection cooking that's convection with the broil element tied in as well that's just convection broil and that's straight up broil and you can navigate through the menu system like this and, and check them out right and there's always a default setting that you can adjust before you start the cooking mode but we're not going to do true convection we're going to go to our standard steam cooking you have steam 130 as well so that's in uh, um, uh, in metric uh, steam is 100 degrees and then 130 degrees would be steam plus some additional heat that's added in um, for more rapid cooking. Uh, you can combine steam cooking with the convection uh, element as well for more rapid or maybe getting some browning in there happening as well and then you have a cleaning mode. Um, but we're just going to focus on this standard uh, steam mode, so we're going to hit OK. Um, 210 Fahrenheit, which basically equates to 100 degrees Celsius, which is uh, the point at which water boils, and 212 Fahrenheit to be precise. Um, and basically, it tells us to close the door. And because the door has seals on it, this is a nice rubber seal here uh, that prevents the steam from escaping. So we'll close that door, senses the door is closed, and then we can push OK, and it starts. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's some now, there's a cooling fan that will be blowing air out from here. This keeps all the electronics cool, keeps the door cool, um, things like that. And you'll hear a little pump going that starts pulling water from the reservoir in here. Uh, and in a few moments, you'll actually um, start to see steam coming in and condensation building up. Uh, 
but we'll let that run for a little bit and uh, come back to the video. If you like, you can also set a timer. As I mentioned before, you know, generally in that 15 to 20 minute range uh, is when your vegetables are going to be done, depending on how you, you like your vegetables done, but you can also always set a timer. Now there's several different time modes that are in here. Um, if I was to set a minute minder, then it would count down and uh, it would beep, but it wouldn't affect the operation of the oven. Uh, that would be my preference if I'm setting something because I always want the option to be able to, you know, continue cooking. So if I was to do uh, a t cooking time mode and say set a timer for 20 minutes, what happens is once that timer expires, it actually shuts the oven off as well and it's done. And, and you'll see in the, later in the video um, where you have to go through a purge uh, process uh, to, at the end of the cooking. And if I still want to do some more cooking, then uh, it's a bit of an interruption to the cooking uh, session. So I prefer to just use a simple timer uh, and then check on the vegetables occasionally as, we get, as they're getting close to done, you know, I'll take a little bite or something like that. Okay, so we can go through that. Uh, reminder, that's hours, we don't need hours. So we just set, say two minutes. You can see down here where it'll start counting down and in two minutes that alarm will beep uh, but it won't affect the actual operation of the oven so there's our timer going off after two minutes a minute minder so this is a time window oh we gotta check on and see how the food's doing let's be careful and remember you're working with steam here it's going to come blasting out initially try a piece of your food or whatever. Uh, if you want to continue cooking, you can basically just close the door and it will continue. And if you really want to, you can set it yourself another timer. Great, okay, what should we want to do here? Um, so once you're satisfied that your food is cooked, you can end your cooking session. You can pause your cooking session by pressing OK, right? And then resume it by pressing OK again. But if you turn the oven off, you'll see that now your cooking session is over and need to discharge. So this is kind of the default. Uh, once you turn the oven off, it instructs you to uh, pull out. You can see, remove the water tank until the symbol. So that's what we're gonna do. Get the water tank out. basically back flushing the plumbing system inside so that you don't have water uh, sitting uh, idle and going stale or potentially moldy or whatever inside uh, the system and just pumps it back into this reservoir. I typically, I mean, I use my steam oven enough that I just leave the water in the reservoir, but uh, you're welcome to take it and dump it out whatever you want to use as well. This will go on for a couple of minutes. We don't need to record the entire thing. But once I'm done cooking as well, I mean, you're going to clean the trays out. And you'll see you'll get some condensation in down around the bottom of the oven and also on the glass. So I'll always uh, dry that out, you know, with a tea towel or whatever uh, to try and keep everything as dry as possible. Uh, hopefully, this helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to. Uh, shoot me an email um, and I will create future videos um, with some of the more uh, less used cooking modes in here uh, as well. Hopefully you found this helpful.